I was at my retro fault to pick up the keyboard for my Xenio MBC3000 because someone sent me a message via my website. A person wrote me that the switches in the Xenio MBC keyboard were using a rare type of switch called the Fujitsu Leaf Spring First Generation Clicky and that there wasn't too much info on the switches on the internet, only one forum post. In the video I briefly demonstrated the sound of the keyboard and that sounded interesting to that person. So the main question of the mail was if I could do a longer typing test. So that is why I'm taking the keyboard home. I think the person would like to see a demonstration of the keyboard with the computer, but I'm not able to do that yet. Although I hope to start work on the Sanyo MBC3000 soon. First I want to do a sound test and then we'll peek inside the case. So I set up my Zoom audio recorder and started recording the sound of the keys. Enjoy! Let's remove the back to see what is inside this amazing keyboard. This PCB looks really amazing. Interesting spacebar mechanism. It's held on by bent steel. Please advise me if you would bend those back and take a look at the switches. I have had bad experience with disassembling a Model F keyboard, so I'm hesitant to go further than this. Here's the serial number. Let's flip the PCB over. Cut this zip tie. I vacuumed out the dust. Then I removed three keycaps, finding something interesting. On every key stock there is a sort of metal pin sticking out. So when you take a look at the info on the stority, you will see that there are pictures of stocks with the same metal pins. I'm impressed that the viewer knew the keys in the keyboard. In the next picture you can see that for the pictures on the stority, they used probably a similar keyboard to the one used on the MBC3000. Maybe they even used the keyboard from the Senyo MBC3000 since those keys are also on mine shown here. So really interesting info I got about the keyboard of my Sanyo MBC3000. Info I will definitely be using in the computer DLC episode about this computer, which I hope to release before the end of this year. Also I'm working on a keyboard page for my website, to which I will add clear pictures of this keyboard too. For now thanks for watching, and I'm going to enjoy my rare switches some more.